These are 15 new AI inventions that will break entire industries. Number 15, AI Climate and Energy Optimizers. Let's start with a system most people never think about until it fails, the power grid. In the U.S., data centers already consume roughly 4% of total electricity, and that share is rising as AI workloads expand. To keep grids stable, utilities are deploying machine learning models that forecast demand every few minutes, balance solar and wind input, and flag equipment failures before outages happen. According to energy agencies and grid operators, predictive AI systems are reducing downtime and cutting transmission losses that used to be accepted as unavoidable. This isn't about futuristic power plants. It's about software quietly deciding where electricity flows when it's stored, and how shortages are avoided in real time. Number 14. AI-Generated Games and Virtual Worlds Games are starting to behave less like products and more like living systems. Major studios and engine developers are now using AI to generate dialogue, environments, and non-player character behavior dynamically. NVIDIA and Ubisoft have publicly shown AI-driven NPCs that remember interactions, respond differently to players, and generate new dialogue instead of repeating scripts. Procedural generation isn't new, but what's changed is coherence. AI can now maintain narrative consistency across hours of gameplay. That's why recent demos feel less like random content and more like responsive worlds. This breaks the old model where teams manually create every asset. The bottleneck shifts from content creation to system design. Number 13. Synthetic Humans and Digital People some of the fastest growing media accounts today aren't run by humans at all. Virtual influencers across Instagram, TikTok, and YouTube now attract millions of followers collectively, with several AI personas reaching audiences comparable to mid-tier human creators. Brands already use synthetic humans for live stream hosting, customer support, and product explainers because they're predictable and scalable. What's interesting is that similar AI analysis is also being used behind the scenes in content creation. Tools like Overseer OS study YouTube channels at scale and surface patterns around format, pacing, and topic performance. There's a free link in the description for anyone curious to explore how that kind of analysis works. Number 12, AI Legal Systems. Legal work has always been about reading, a lot of reading. Today, AI systems are doing most of it. In corporate legal departments and large firms, machine learning tools now review contracts, flag risky clauses, and scan case law across millions of documents in hours. Studies published over the last few years show AI-assisted document review can cut review time by over 50% while maintaining comparable accuracy. Courts in multiple regions are also piloting AI tools to triage cases and reduce backlogs. Lawyers still make final decisions, but the economics change when software handles the bulk of analysis. Time, and not expertise, becomes the first thing disrupted. Number 11. AI-run factories and lights-out manufacturing there are factories today that don't need lights because people aren't inside them. In advanced manufacturing, especially electronics and semiconductors, AI systems coordinate robots, monitor quality through computer vision, and adjust production in real time based on demand data. Sensors feed continuous streams into models that detect defects smaller than the human eye can reliably catch. These systems already operate at scale in parts of Asia, and are expanding elsewhere. Humans still oversee and maintain operations, but they're no longer required on the floor. The key shift isn't automation itself, it's autonomy. Production decisions increasingly happen without waiting for human approval. Number 10. AI Doctors and Primary Care Systems 
Healthcare is already overloaded, and AI is being used to absorb the pressure. In recent years, AI systems have matched or exceeded human performance in tasks like medical imaging analysis, triage, and symptom assessment. Hospitals can now use machine learning to read x-rays, CT scans, and MRIs at scale, flagging high-risk cases in seconds. Wearables feed continuous data into models that detect irregular heart rhythms and early warning signs before patients feel symptoms. Doctors still make final calls, but AI increasingly handles first-pass analysis. The shift isn't replacing clinicians. It's changing where human attention is spent, especially as global physician shortages continue to grow. Number 9. AI-Generated Video and Media Engines Video production used to be slow, expensive, and heavily manual, but that's changing fast. AI systems can now generate realistic video from text prompts, clone voices with consent, and translate speech while preserving tone and lip movement. Media companies and advertisers are already using these tools for explainers, internal training, and localized content. Recent advances focus less on visuals alone and more on consistent consistency across scenes and timing. This matters because short-form video now dominates online attention. When production time drops from weeks to hours, the economics of content creation change. The disruption starts with low- and mid-budget media, where speed matters more than cinematic perfection. Number 8. AI Tutors and Personalized Education Education systems were designed for classrooms, not individuals. AI changes that. Modern AI tutors can identify learning gaps by analyzing how a student answers questions, how long they hesitate, and where mistakes repeat. They adjust explanations instantly, switching examples, pacing, and difficulty until mastery is demonstrated. Studies from recent years show AI tutoring can significantly improve learning outcomes, especially especially in math and science, when used consistently. This doesn't replace schools or teachers. It replaces the one-size-fits-all delivery model. The key shift is feedback speed. Students no longer wait days or weeks to know what they didn't understand. Number 7. Personal AI Life Managers most people don't lack motivation. They lack bandwidth. Personal AI systems are being built to reduce decision overload by handling routine coordination. These systems can read emails, summarize what needs approval, schedule meetings, track deadlines, and execute predefined actions across apps. The underlying technology already exists across productivity and enterprise software. What's new is consolidation. Instead of juggling dozens of tools, users interact with one intelligent layer that understands context. This doesn't make decisions emotionally or creatively. It handles logistics, and that matters because administrative work quietly consumes hours of attention every week without creating visible progress. Number 6. AI Financial Advisors Many decisions are emotional, and that's often the problem. AI-driven financial systems already manage portfolios, rebalance assets, and optimize tax strategies based on real-time data. Large investment firms use machine learning to stress test portfolios against historical scenarios and market shocks. For retail investors, automated advisors remove panic-driven decisions by following predefined risk rules consistently. In recent years, assets managed by algorithmic systems have continued to grow globally. Human advisors still matter for complex cases and trust. But for routine wealth management, software increasingly handles the math faster and without bias. The disruption here is cost, consistency, and scale. Number 5. Autonomous Coding Systems Software creation is starting to operate from typing code. Modern AI systems can already generate functional code, run tests, debug errors, and refactor existing code bases. In real production environments, developers now use AI to handle repetitive tasks like writing boilerplate, fixing bugs, and translating code between languages. This has measurable impact. Teams report faster development cycles and 
fewer routine errors. Humans still design systems and make architectural decisions, but the day-to-day -day act of writing code is shifting towards supervision. The disruption isn't that AI replaces engineers. It's that building software no longer scales linearly with headcount. Number four, AI scientific discovery engines. Science is increasingly constrained by time, not ideas. AI systems are now used to generate hypotheses, analyze massive data sets, and run simulations across variables humans can't realistically explore. In recent years, machine learning models have helped identify new materials, map protein structures, and surface patterns missed by traditional methods. What's important is how these systems work. They don't understand science. They test possibilities at scale. Researchers still validate results, but AI accelerates the search space dramatically. This changes the pace of discovery. Progress depends less on intuition alone and more on how quickly systems can explore and narrow down what's worth testing. Number three, AI designed drugs. Drug discovery has always been slow and expensive. AI shortens the earliest stages. Machine learning models are now used to design candidate molecules, predict how they'll bind to targets, and filter out likely failures before lab testing begins. Several AI design drugs have entered or advanced through human clinical trials in recent years, which is a major milestone. This doesn't remove regulation or testing. Those still take time. What it changes is the failure rate up front. Fewer dead ends reach the lab. That reduces cost, speeds iteration, and shifts where pharmaceutical risk actually sits. Number two, AI employees and autonomous digital workers. Some work doesn't require a human decision at every step. Autonomous AI agents are now used to monitor dashboards, manage customer support queues, run marketing experiments, update databases, and trigger workflows across software tools. These systems follow rules, observe outcomes, and adjust actions without constant prompts. Companies deploy them quietly in operations, analytics, and internal tooling. The impact isn't dramatic job replacement overnight. It's role compression. Tasks that once required coordination between multiple people are handled by a single system. The expensive layer being removed is supervision, not expertise. Number one, AI CEOs for small businesses. This is where everything converges. Small businesses already use AI to analyze traffic, manage ads, forecast demand, and track finances. What's emerging is coordination. Systems that combine data from sales, marketing, operations, and support to recommend or execute decisions automatically. These tools don't set vision or values. They handle optimization. That matters because small teams historically lost to larger ones due to slower decision making. When software handles pricing tests, budget allocation, and operational adjustments in near real time, scale stops being an advantage and the business structure itself starts to change. If you made it this far, let us know what you think in the comment section below. And if you're curious about how creators and channels are actually being analyzed behind the scenes, there's a free link to oversee your OS in the description that you can check out. For more interesting topics like this, make sure you watch the recommended video you see on the screen right now. Thanks for watching.